Is there a matchup in this game that intrigues you the most? And if so, what is it? I'm talking with the Eagles. Who wants to start? Oh, I'll go ahead and start again. Um, so, so with the Eagles, <laughs> it's going to be the 49 or the, the Eagles defensive line against the 49ers offensive line. Uh, mm. Similar to the Giants, they have names, but they have even better names than the Giants, mm. like Fletcher Cox in the middle. And that's been a weakness is the 49ers interior offensive line. So if you're able to control them, contain them, because that's at a point last week, the Giants defensive line did get to Nick Mullins a little bit, but obviously it didn't affect the game at all. The Eagles defensive line could affect it a lot more than the Giants did. So that's that intrigues me. How does that offensive line hold up and how does Shanahan scheme his way out of that? I think the one I'm looking forward to, just because I feel like I'm going to laugh at some instances, is the running back slash tight ends against the Eagles linebackers. How he's going to get those players into space, how Nick's going to deliver to them, especially to our boy Dwelly. So to see how he gets out there, because he's also he's going to just, I feel like he's going to abuse each one of these players. Jarek, Jeff Wilson, um, who knows most is going to play, but all these guys are just enough just to get those linebackers easily to bite on something, whatever, because you already know it, nothing's going to be for face value in terms of route running. There's always going to be some counter moves, some doubles, some trickery. So I'm looking forward to seeing that that matchup in terms of just, wow, how much are the 49ers, how much is Kyle Shannon going to embarrass this group just to really, like, look, I have a backup quarterback and Nick Mullins who actually should be considered starting caliber, and he's over there picking apart your linebacking core. So right on prime time. So I think that's the one that's really going to be interesting to see. And then putting the pylon back up after it. Jack, you're up. Yes, crucial. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking for the running game. You know, I wrote about this a little bit yesterday, but I really want to see how they perform, if they can if they can get that thing going. You know, they've mm -hmm. just been really hit or miss so far this year. And uh, just to see them start to really just kind of grind a game out would be would be nice for a change, especially against a team like this, you know, with a short week coming up next week. That's a really good – that's a really good one. I'm going to go with the offensive line against the Eagles' defensive line. It's similar to last week. The Niners – what was interesting is they had a, they had a lot of problems – with the D Giants defensive line in the first half. They were shutting down the run game pretty consistently and mm -hmm. moving Mullins off his spot. He had to he had to scramble and run around and make some tough throws. And I thought what the Niners did was they just wore him down. They held right. the ball longer than the Giants. The defense kept the Giants from conver their, converting third downs. And by the second half, that Giants D-line had no, no gas left. So that's probably going to be how the Niners are going to have to attack this matchup as well because they don't have a physical um, – matchup advantage against Philly.